Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Nobunaga's Ambition, Sphere of Influence. I was just like thinking to myself about things to say the next time I see Vulture Bronco, and they may include things like, Bronco, not that I'll call him Bronco. Have you been studying the ways of the ninja? Because he'll bark out for that kind of thing. He's like, uh, he's four, and he loves ninjas, so doing a ninja voice and talking to him is likely to be very effective. All right, so we, uh, oh, it's not even worth, uh, sorry, Yajiro, I don't, I don't know that it's really, well, that's a super cool boss unit, though, with this, like, uh, that weird, like, monk habit that they got, but I don't know that it's worth even showcasing this fight, because they got 300 troops. Yeah, okay, yeah, they've got 81 troops left in the core unit, so you're going to win that one instantly. There's no point in us zooming in. We will keep an eye on the situation over here. Did you think you could beat us? Yeah. Like, the minute I unpause, you, you automatically won, so... I think the thing to do is have Senahime, who is, I, I think, the daughter from the Imagawa who was executed for being too close to the Takeda. She will hang out here so that if they turn hostile, instantly she'll be there. Although, actually, ooh. That's an 8,000 troop unit. We're better off having Masakage go there himself and having Ieyasu head this way to help. Acknowledged. Whereas this unit, like, can I make them stand their ground? I guess I could have them march this way. And then as soon as as soon as they and Ieyasu switch, switch sides, then they turn around and head this way. Or I just make them march home. But again, the, the main thing is if Ieyash, if Ieyoshi Yagyu, I'm kind of curious who that is now. Now there'll be I, yeah, there'll be Ieyash, whatever Yagyu, the the I part will come first. So I'm curious who they are, because they've got a large unit, which suggests that they were the they were the, the highest military officer in their largest city. So Well, he's an old. From a powerful family in Yamato, son of Muriyoshi. He joined the Tsutsui after an attack from Junbo Tsutsui, then joined the Miyoshi against them when Hideyoshi Matsunaga entered Yamamoto. So his stats are okay. He's like above average military leader, but not like bestest ever, man. Sankoji tribe joined his reinforcements, but we don't really care because we didn't need them for that fight that they're talking about, which is the one that our uh, Drag Queen Story Hour officer won. Okay, once again, the tribal unit's the bigger unit, but there's no, not a whole lot of point in Zooming in on that one, we're just going to win it. So the main thing is to get uh, uh, Nobutatsu Ichijo, who I'm, I'm sure he had some wins under his belt, even if we didn't zoom in and control all of them manually. The main thing now is making sure he gets back without getting wiped out, because that always runs the risk of the unit officers getting killed. And we've got a couple of officers there that you know we don't want to lose, obviously. Even if they're not created officers, where I'd have to apologize to a uh, charity donation giver if I got them killed. But yeah, our main thing is get him out without, get that unit out without them being killed. Uh, and then we can reorganize and launch a proper attack on Kamaha Castle. What gained the Earthwork trait? The Statesman trait. Let us begin the meeting. He's not a warrior. He's a statesman. In. Donnie Castle is surrounded by 10,000. Oh, look. We got we got both. Uh, we got Shingen and Shaman Yamazaki, the famous Shingen cosplayer, are both talking here. 10,000 fighting an army. 1,000 Nechi and we're on top. Here's last month's balance. Okay. I actually spent what I made here for a change. Reporting in. 
Our truce with Miyoshi Clan has run its course. Be careful. We're running or two on our land. Oh, we found a secret path at Uzo Castle. A secret path to an odd Mediterranean... Uh, like a Greek liqueur that kind of has a licorice flavor. That would be Uzo. Specialty has been discovered. Fountain has been discovered. I discovered a fountain at Takako. No one previously knew about this, but I found it. Alright, well. Yeah, now our officers have arrived at these places, I think. Uh, I assume the best thing here is going to be a cargoman eventually, so let's get moving that way. And I waited to get this going so that I could get a workshop, and that was the correct call. So now I've got lots of officers who can do it. You know, I like Kabuki Theater. It's not even a no theater we're building. We're just building a theater. We're working our way towards that pun. But I just can't wait. <laughs> Iron begets iron. Could go rice house. We don't want innovation. Uh, this will probably end up being a military. I think for, and usually, I think it's better, like, I, I usually go Town Fair Coin Exchange. In this case, Blacksmith Studio might be better, because there's only one adjacent district that will get any benefit at all. Uh, so we'll go Blacksmith. Well, that's right, that's our brand new Fancy Pants Castle that Grimmeth built. So it might be a long time before that place is profitable, but they, they planted the idea in my head that we should build a castle. So, doggone it, that's what we did. How did Jax... Oh, I was like, how did Jaxor's Baldo not end... Or, uh... Zerfina Baldo not end up leading troops? And the answer is... We marched them from really far away so that our frontline cities here would have the troops for the next wave. And she was in a frontline city because... I kind of planned it so our best military officers were in the front line, and then I marched our troops mostly out of... Not the front line. What would you like? I'd like some of these fancy pants swords from that sword quest to be available, but I guess we don't always get what we want, huh? All right, now let's actually. I feel like he's a semi-famous guy that I'm not remembering. Let's actually, uh, as we should, just not worry about spending all that labor. Save the cash. There are roads it wants us to improve. Ah, yeah, this I do. I do want to improve roads up here because these are going to directly help our new cities. Damn it. So I'm not doing this just for the sake of, of utilizing labor. This is helping cities that I want to get improved. Mitsuhide. Do you desire to improve roads? I hope so, because that's what you're going to be doing for a while. Uzo's got what it needs. So we will do more road improvement up here eventually, but for now we'll just kind of improve this ability to actually get to those cities at all. 
and uh, the roads between them. Well, I'd need to improve these. I tell you what. How much would this cost? Yeah, we're getting to the point where I'm really eating to what little I've got left. Let's not do that. Okay. I didn't save at the end of the last video, did I? That's okay. Uh, it's been a real long... I don't want to jinx it. It's been a very long time since we had, like, a catastrophic recording failure. I think we can assume that we'll be okay. So we've got more troops. Yeah, Nobumoto Mizuno never really saw combat at all. It, that's fine. I mean, he was there, I guess, as an insurance policy. You know, like the Yete was insurance policy uh, against Hulkamania possibly surviving the onslaught of Dungeon of Doom, the four horsemen together. But, um, yeah, it's okay. But uh, we've got more, more units over there than we could possibly actually utilize. People on this path will end up fighting the Yoshi clan to avoid necessary fighting out by the truce. Can we do it again? I don't we don't want to wish, wish to fight if we don't have to either. I'm fine with that. We'll have plenty of time to plenty of time to fight them later. Don't need to rush anything right now. But you do need to get home, and you'll have time to pass the Yagyu, uh, Iayoshi Yagyu before the truce ends. Now, if this game was a little bit more complicated, we might see where... Yeah, see, this is so crazy. They are allied with us for, like, a month because of a truce, but they are allied with the Azai permanently. Yet, I think if I march in here, they will be my allied units as we fight Naotsune. Now, it doesn't matter. They're very weak. And part of that's because I had control over them last time and, and sent them in to do some of the fighting. But it is a weird quirk of things. If they're allied with both sides, they'll default to aiding the player instead of another AI force, which doesn't make any sense, but... Where are you going? Oh, I think they were already heading there. Never mind. I, I think that's where they're supposed to end up. I think they were from Gujo Hachiman Castle all along. I don't think I accidentally sent them to the wrong base. But if I did, oopsie. Now I'm going to be tempted to start fighting the Uesugi now, but I really need to just take what I gained from them and, and stop. And be ready to jump on them once uh, I've taken Kyoto. They will be the next, next target after we take Kyoto. Unless the Asakura are just barely hanging in and I want to finish them off. What are the Asakura up to? They should be marching to help their friends. Those are Honganji troops. The Asakura, maybe they don't have the forces to spare, but our our estimates, with, which are not based on anything, are that they've got full troop counts in much of their castles. No one can oppose us. Get the fuck out, Kagamochi Yamakusa. I picked up the spear combat trait. Yeah, let's see. So what happens if I jump into this one? No? Oh, I can't advance now because they're sitting there. Mechi Castle of Surrenders? Enemy officer captured. Oh, now the fact that they are there... They are sided with the Otsune Endo, and I can't in initiate an attack. That's what's happening now. Okay. Well, I guess we can just wait for this month to end and then instantly pounce on this castle. But we've really shrunk the poor uh, Usugi down. Are you are you getting froggy or are you just trying to make sure we don't attack? We return. Now I return to them again. It's it's not uh, whoever that was, uh, uh, Amakusa. It's Shiro Amakusa. Did again? I didn't mean for them to like go into that city. 
with the Yasugi can so live and well, I'm unable to serve a new master. Well, we can hire Uji Ujiharu Oda. We employed three officers out of that. I should gratefully serve under you. That was like the most effective commander they had against us. So we just accidentally uh, dropped five officers into this city. Again, I thought I hit home, but I guess I hit enter. We're going home. But we're not entering this city to make it a new home. That's a different thing. All right. Uh, is there any city that's now like oddly short of officers? Because it means I just accidentally dumped a bunch of their officers. Well, then again, we employed four officers, so probably they all ended up in that city. It's probably, yeah, it's Komoro Castle, is what it is, because probably, yeah, Yojiro Bayushi is now the lord of this castle. So, Komoro Castle, which is where he marched out of. So he, because of a button mispress on my part, he's the lord of this castle, which is fine. It probably needs him more than this castle does right now. Uh, but we'll need to put a, a new officer in charge of Komoro Castle, just so we've got a little bit extra manpower over there. Meanwhile, Mina, Mino Ota Castle is growing because of awesome road improvements. It's awesome. You mean the god dog? Let's decide what to do with the captives. Now, we'll never get Kagachika Chisaka to join us, but Aoi Tozawa, that one is possible. Let's try to hire them all. I'm honored to spoken to me, but I have no intention of betraying the Uesugi clan. You would choose me, my leech? I will gladly serve unto you. I won't forget your generosity. Oh, did things just switch where now we are in battle? Okay. And you know what? I think we're in a battle that I don't need to manually control. I'm prepared to bear any burden. Yep. Now they're... See, this is so weird. They're, now they are encircling us. Oh, here we go. My name is Vulture. I shall work wholeheartedly for the Takata clan until I draw my last breath. Vulture BB has joined the battle. He's at Sudanpu Palace. Which I think is where Bronk or Bobo is. Uh, he is a... Highest possible starting intelligence, highest possible starting pull. This is based on the fact that my little nephew, BB, who is now, like, he's a little over a year old. Like, he loves those giant, like, thick cardboard-paged books for kids. He, he can't read, but he loves being read to, and, like, when no one's around, he will, like, flip through those books for kids and read, like, look at the pictures. And I believe his favorite book is Go Dog Go. He might have another favorite at this point. But yeah, based on that, and the fact that his brother is old enough to talk and talks about being a ninja, I made uh, Bronco the war-oriented ninja officer, and BB is going to be the great scholar. I have gained the sea straight. I have picked up the sea straight too. Yeah, I've become the strategist. I'm not a warrior, I'm a politician. Uh, Nagamoto Jinbo has joined us. That's going to change everything, folks. That's huge. Your orders, reporting in. A Donny Castle surrounded. Kamaha Castle is surrounded, but I don't know what's going to happen if we're in the middle of a battle with those guys who are truced to us as our allies. Oh, but yeah, the, those jerks. They sent a unit to break up the siege of Donny Castle, so that might be Here's a thing. Here's last month's balance. Reporting in. Kariya Castle's uh, finished develop fully. Finished development. Oh, we have a month left in our troops from the Yoshi clan, so it's not over yet. It's not over yet. We got some uh, renegade warriors here. You know what I'm gonna do? It's just like completely random. I could make uh, BB the Lord of Komoro Castle, but there's probably no sense in doing that. 
Yeah, we'll put this guy in charge because he just joined us and uh, he's probably not that excited about it. <laughs> BB, I think, along with possibly other members of Vulture Clan, may end up running Odani Castle once we finish the siege. But now that the siege is being interrupted, I don't know how long it's going to take. I'm kind of annoyed at that turn of events. Oh, we've got a lot of improvements to make, huh? Uh, let's see. Go farmer's market, hunting ground... Want a cargo in here eventually. Let's go ahead and make an orchard as our long run long term plan here. Obviously, intending to get a rice exchange. So we'll start with a rice dealer. Still in a dream. Rice dealer. You know, I like Kabuki Theater. But I prefer <laughs> the old theater. Didn't I just tell you to do I guess this is... We just ended up with, like, identical circumstance at a really similar city. He's going to get it done less, with less people than possible, even though I've kind of got obsessive about spending our labor. And it never quite seems to all get spent. I'm not seeing anything flashing. I think we've made all the improvements. Ask for anything you want. At houses, restaurant. Or is it Orlo's? Arlo's restaurant. You can have anything you want at Arlo's restaurant. Yeah, never mind. I'm confused. Like, I this is me referencing Mystery Science Theater, referencing something else. So it's like a, a secondhand reference that I'm probably getting wrong. Boy, we got a lot of labor left over, but I just don't want to spend any gold right now. Um, I don't think realistically we can run out of food, but if I decide to unleash the full rage and fury of our Oda City's armies to like really push through and roll right into the Rokoku and even the Azai, I mean Asakura, then it could potentially be a thing where we need to... I was just reminding myself there are vassal, I kind of forgot. Allied with the whole Hojo Vassal has them one turn of truce left. I wonder if we could vassalize the Honganji. Is that even possible? They're hostile. They hate our strong influence. We got 100 trust with these guys and they're normal. But again, like, I, I, I feel like if I vassalize them, the Honganji attack here and they ask for help and I'm, like, completely just, like, not positioned to actually do the honorable thing and support. Uh, I guess we could drop a few bucks on appeasing tribes. But we've got, a, yeah, we've got, like, this, anything that's out west of here, we have no connection and these guys, we've, we already, like, got them. What up here? Who 
were they split between us and Honganji? Yeah, Honganji acts like a normal clan in this game, even though there's probably areas where they should not. Uh... Yeah, Toy, this could be a really big place eventually. It doesn't have any particularly interesting castle facility options. This one could be a depot. Eh, I mean, that's fine. But just from a which cities could eventually be, like, really churning out the troops and stuff, this one would, could eventually get huge. This one will never get that big. This one could get big-ish. And this one could get... Well, those two could both get huge. So let's drop a few bucks on Toyama. Getting it going with the stuff that will boot. Oh, see, I'm already working on it. Okay, let's get going towards stone. Oh, but you're like the only guy who's available. I probably send people to do road work or something. All right, let's just uh, call it. Yeah, they backed off. They realized they couldn't possibly break the siege, I guess. Pick the politician. Let's decide what to do with the captives. We could hire about half of them. The guy's got a sweet helmet. And there's no way that kind of helmet's coming to join us. Yeah, that's the guy with Shibata is his name that I think was riding around before. And I was like, confusing him with Katsui, eh? I think we're about to take us some... Uh, Azai cities. I didn't send anybody over to replace you, Jiro, did I? I don't know, I did. I sent, like, the new... The ruler of that one castle clan that we took out who wasn't willing to join us immediately. And uh, Shigeie Shibata, I think, is the guy who actually I was thinking of. That was riding around before, and I was like, why is the Shibata guy riding around? Use my talents or you fit. Whatever, I don't care. We march. There's no one we the defenders of Kamaha Castle are mere children before me. If only it was Kamehameha Castle. In the reckless trait, I should reach the pinnacle of warriorhood. Tokuyama tribe has sworn Enemy allegiance. Enemy officer apprehended. Acknowledged. Yes, acknowledged. We're doing it. Yep. Yes, sir. -y. How much diplomacy do we have with the, uh... Because we're not being charged diplomacy. I guess it's their idea? No, we are being charged diplomacy because we're down to two. Which means our trust. We Like, so we, we somehow got charged trust to do those little truces. So we got no trust left with the Miyoshi, but that's fine. Like, I'm surprised we had any. I guess we had the default starting him out. We're going to have to fight the, the Miyoshi. We're, we're not going to be able to ally them. Maybe we can take Diho Palace and then slowly work up to being allies so that they don't take it back. But they hold Kyoto, which we need to win the game. So we're obviously not going to be long-term friends. Kakazaki clan was eliminated by Nanbu clan. Let's go! You know, it's actually time to call it a video. Well, let's see. What I would dearly love is to see Ieyoshi Yagyu get the fuck out. Because he's got this massive, massive unit full of troops who are not going to be on our side. Uh, any given turn now. They will turn hostile. And they're right in the middle of our fucking formation. I can't do anything about them. Many of our retainers have gained new abilities. Orders reporting in. We have a dining castle surrounded. Here's last month's balance. Oh, so they didn't even like show reporting me who had. No, here, here it is. All right, training is paid off. Kunamina Castle is developed fully. Yanaba Tribe has joined us. Hamamatsu Castle has grown. That's good. I've gained the agility trait. It was a cinch. 
I love, uh, Yasuke, that you've developed the ability to use uh, conversational, uh, kind of like informal English, even though you were a African-born Portuguese slave who's living in uh, Japan. So apparently he's got quite a few languages under its belt at this point. Good job, Yasuke. Our truce with... After much study, I've obtained a desperation trait. I've gotten desperate for these studies to be over. And our truce with the Yoshi clan has run its course, so... Now I think it's the time for us to just destroy these guys. We'll finish off Odani Castle, at which point the Azai are kind of fucked. They've got two castles left. They've got, like... Like, we've got, uh... Uh, like 205,000, I was about to say a quarter of a million soldiers. That's more like a fifth of a million soldiers. We got 200,000 uh, soldiers, and the Azai, who we are currently attacking, have 4,000. So I think we can say that the Azai are beaten. Though the Rokaku don't have a whole lot more, the Asakura are stronger, and, and this is like the sense I got. I don't know if it's based on historical truth, but like playing the Nobunaga, playing the Samurai Warriors games, and even playing Kessen 2, there was always the sense that the, As the Azai, even though they were a smaller, weaker clan, were much better allies to the Asakura than the Asakura were to the Azai. And in this case, the Azai, the Asakura just kind of sat there and watched their permanent rivals get pummeled. They seemed to be fighting harder to protect the Oda than they fought to protect the Azai. So, I don't quite know what that's about. Anyway, the Kitipatake, who are our vassal, have more troops than any of these enemies of ours we're talking about. So, they're not positioned to attack anybody in a useful way, but if they were, we could sick them on anybody except the Miyoshi and, and the Honganji are going to be a thing we'll have to deal with up in the north eventually. We could sick the um, Kitipatake on the... The Tsutui, just to get the Tsutui off the map, but the Tsutui have just one city, so, you know, whatever. They got one castle and one fortress. I guess that's two cities. They got two separate? I think that's what that means. That there's... Yeah, okay. It's not that fortresses... Some castles are fortresses, um, but not all fortresses are castles. Like, no, they're two completely distinct things. All right, calling it a video, and when we come back next time... The combat ain't never stop <laughs> at this point. I had a couple of videos of non-stop domestics. Now we're pretty much in a non-stop state of war, which I can see kind of continuing on at this point, possibly until we take Kyoto. Like, if I decide we got enough food and we've got the, uh, the uh, harvest coming, I might just pull the trigger, have our troops march out of the Oda cities that we took. Because we have a bunch of cities from like farther east than that who just took out, who are taking out the Azai. And just as importantly, taking out the armies of the allies of the Azai who rode in to help. So if we decide, hey, while we're at it, let's roll over the Rokoku cities because they just lost a bunch of troops trying to keep the Azai afloat, we could have the Oda march out and do that. Or the Oda cities, rather. And, and then eventually we're just like, we just got a big cluster of troops hanging around Nisho Palace. We're not going to take out the Miyoshi in one fell swoop, but we can march guys out so that Nisho Palace is surrounded and uh, cut off from reinforcement. I think we're going to see that happen within the next couple of videos. But the only way to know for sure is to tune in. Hope you guys do, and I'll catch you guys next time.